lights, camera, action. We're here at Target headquarters. My name is Mark Kerr from Dark Shopper Media, and today we have Target's latest launch. Now we have a few exciting products here. I'll save the best for last though. Now the first product is the Exo Dart. We've got a straight barrel, there's a slightly taper barrel, and then there's a slightly shorter straight barrel as well. These have sort of curving radial grooves. I've seen cuts like these before, but not on a Target Dart. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these go. Hollywood Action. Chris Doby, very, very popular in darts, had his recent Gen 1s. These now are his Hollywood Action. Lights, camera, whoosh, action. A nice different style grip on these. I think these are gonna be really, really popular. Asp Echo. These asps are gonna sell really, really well. Very, very popular, completely different style. That sort of tapered down torpedo. He's gone from a much thicker front, slimmed it down. Now in Echo, these are gonna be really, really, really popular. There's some finer detail on these, a little bit different from his generation ones. That coating is gonna hold really nicely. Looking forward to giving these a go. The star of the show, however, has to be these the number two K-Flex. I cannot wait to throw these. Really been looking forward to these. With a slightly larger size, you get a little bit more drag, which allows more stability in the air and should allow me that higher entry tail that I love. Okay, so let's get into these darts, see what they're all about. So we have an 01, an 02, and an 03 version of this dart. Let's get into the 01s. The back kind of reminds me of a Chris Doby. You've got these black and silver grooves at the rear here. Then they come into these kind of rounded grooves that I was talking about here. I quite like this kind of off gray, off white kind of color on the stems and on the flights. It's quite different. It has quite a similar feel to the grip all the way along it. But it changes ever so slightly around that rounded section. I think the grips are a tiny bit better actually around there. This would be a really nice beginner dart on a more premium scale, I'd say. Yeah, I think they're all right, that's the 01. Now the 02 is the most interesting style for me. Yeah, this is a little bit more of a significantly tapered down straight barrel dart. You've got the straight all the way along there and then it tapers quite early after this midsection, just slightly ahead of the middle of the dart. Coming down, razor grip, Swiss point again. I rest my finger there and hold from the back. That's actually really nice and comfortable. Quite like the feel of these. Finally, we have the 03. Now I told a lie, I think these are the same length. So I'm not entirely sure if this tapers down a tiny bit. It looks a little bit thicker than this one. This one has a thicker front here. So if you want to hold from that front section there, that might be a little bit more substantial for you. You also get a little bit more of that grip on this one. It goes further up. There's only about three of that standard grip there. They both taper down quite nicely though. Slight different variation. All of the new darts have Swiss points. So you use your Swiss point tool into the dart. You spin that around, that will loosen the point and you can take it out. Hollywood action. I like Chris Doby, really nice chap. These look even better out of the box. Don't know if you can see the detail here. It's got that echo kind of coloring in between. Right on the front there, you get a really nice dark section. Really like that front bit. Let's get them out of a look. I did not expect this to have such a different feel from a grip. Really nice and surprising. Lovely grip, I really enjoy that. It's got really nice, comfortable sit position. So if you hold your dart, and you rest your finger. I mean, I usually rest just in this point section, but if I pull it back, that tiny bit there, that feels so nice and stable. I tell you what, these are gonna be really, really nice dart to try. I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised when you try this dart. Let's get into the Asp. These are now the Echo version, so you get that coating, but you also get that lovely sort of sandblasted dark gray coloring the large target stems, it usually says Pro Grip on these. I really like that. It's nice, clear text. The whole thing is set up beautifully. It looks really nice with the gray stem, the flight, and this dark gunmetal barrel. Now it is actually slightly different from his last darts. You don't have the tongue detail on the front, and that front section is a little bit different. You've got the lines going across, it's broken down. You then have ring grip here. It's a fine ring grip, it's not the grippiest, but because of the coating, it adds that little bit more. That rear bit has a bit better grip. It's not as good as the Dobies, but it feels nice. It's a really good looking dart, this. Discreet, but very classy. Whoosh! 
Keyflex number two. I'm super excited for these. Two of the best colors, we have the green and the blue here, but the green are in short. Cool, look at them. Now, that is a standard number two shape. Really, really excited. I was a little bit upset when Mission brought out theirs because it was a little bit thinner there. It became more of a diamond and didn't have the same kind of drag that I get from a standard flight. These are exactly what I've been waiting for. I hope they perform as well as they look. Now, just when I thought it was all over, they came in and gave me these. These are also going in the launch. These are the Swiss DS 40 millimeter points. I've got them in silver here. I'll put them in some of the darts and show you what they look like. Now look at that compared to that. Huge. So there we have it. Target launch, April 2024. What's your favorite product and why? Thanks for watching. Have a good one.